You know, I've always said that COTS is the Cadillac of, of supportive human services agencies. My name is Sharon Williams Johnson, and I am the Chief Operating Officer at COTS. We are trendsetters at COTS. We, when we get an idea, we go with it and others follow. Um, my boss, Cheryl P. Johnson, is a visionary and, and an innovator. And so my job is to implement her vision, is to facilitate it agency-wide, to make sure that we are all doing what it is she sees. And so for years, she's been the quarterback and we've run the touchdowns for her. COTS was formed in 1981 in the basement of St. Peter's Episcopal Church on the corner of Trumbo and Michigan Avenue in Corktown. It was formed by a coalition of agencies, the Capuchins, the Sisters of Mercy, and a few other agencies, which is why it was called the Coalition on Temporary Shelter. At that time, there were men um, that were sleeping on park benches, in their cars, what have you. Maybe they had alcoholism problems, gambling problems, so they worked, they weren't without income, but they couldn't maybe stay at home with their families. And so 10 men were gathered, that's how it started, in the basement of St. Peter's. And like with anything, word of mouth is your best or worst advertisement. So if I'm sleeping in the basement of St. Peter's, then I'm gonna tell my buddy who's sleeping on a bench hey, come on over here, you know, out of the weather and sleep at St. Peter's. It grew to be 40 men sleeping on cots. At that time, it was decided to look for a location, a permanent location for the agency. And so 22, 26 Peterborough was an old burnt out Imperial Hotel where the Purple Gang used to live. So cots, the coalition and the temporary shelter at that time, purchased that building and begin to renovate floor by floor. And there are eight floors in that building of usable space. And we filled all eight floors. So the shelter was just for men at that time, and it was the third floor. And then there became, you know, the drug epidemic, and women were going to prison and getting out of prison, and they needed a place to stay. So then we opened up a floor for women. And then there became some people who were slightly disabled. So they came, and it was the long-term program. So there were 23 units of long-term program for people who were mentally ill, but operational. Those who had slight disabilities, but still were able to walk around and take care of themselves. And then there became 80 single room only, SRO units of transitional housing for individuals. And the third and fourth floor remained the shelter, as it does today and we always welcome volunteers. We have a clothing room where we welcome volunteers to come in and fold clothes. You can donate gently used or new items only, please, to our clothing room. Please don't clean out your basement and give us the wet mildewed stuff. We want gently used or new items because the homeless are people too and they, they deserve their dignity. So if you don't wear it and wouldn't wear it, don't give it to us, please. Mm. I'm a cat's cheerleader, thank you. I love cats. Oh, 
I was raised by the stop sign. No religion, I was getting saved by the Glock 9. By the minute, I was getting paid like a hotline. Certain rolling, fiends was calling. We was that kind, well connected, well respected, and well protected. And get accepted, was rejected, and